Star Wars Episode 18, The Cabaret Covenant Overview. Okay. Right, so what happens is that Beth Stormwarden contacts uh, Ray and lets her know what's going on with the communications between the Obsidian Order and the Luvia. And Ray and Finn and Poe, and Finn and Poe, disguised as stormtroopers, manage to get with Ray on at into Cabray. They get to Cabray, which is a um, it's in Star Wars the comic, Volume One from Marvel back in the seventies and early eighties, issue seventy seven. Now, just a sec. I've done a uh, review on this issue actually. Um, should have grabbed it out. But, um, Here we go, here it is. Didn't take too long. There it is. Star Wars issue 77, as you can see. I'll open it up and um, the episode's titled uh, Shantuzi of the Stars. And. Um, Luke and uh, Leia go to Cabray. Now, there's Cabray. They're looking at the space station Cabray through the Millennium Falcon. There it is there. Sort of, that's Cabray there. That's Cabray there. It's a space station. So, um, it's a place where diplomats meet. So, that's basically it there. So, um, and as you can see, at the end, Leia is all dolled up and singing a song where um, Luke is in the audience and watching as well. And um, she's a Shantuzi of the stars. So, basically... Um, the Alluvia and the Obsidian Order travel to Cabray where they form their covenant of agreement, their covenant to wipe out the, the, those who've gone before them. And Ray ends up dolled up like Leia, same sort of outfit, not recognised, and she has to sing a song before the people, before the Obsidian Order and the um Olivia, she sings the same song which Leia is singing there in Shantuzi of the Stars and she's dolled up like that and they don't really recognise her because she's all got makeup on and everything and she's dolled up and um it's paying homage to that of course and Finn and Poe are just observing and they're dressed as stormtroopers protecting protecting Cabaret and protecting the meeting sort of sort of like with Alluvia troops probably as well and things like that. But the Covenant's formed and then they, they go their separate ways and they leave. But they observe, they sort of overhear the discussions of what's going on with the agreement. Now, the, 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 they're ready somewhat, but the, the Darth Crawl heads the, is the power in the Empire now, the the new emperor, as it were, of the empire, and he he is on, on a Death Star, 
but it's a smaller Death Star, much smaller, and there's three much smaller Death Stars which rotate around it. It's a smaller one because the, the big ones were deemed too easy to destroy. And um, he is slain by Darth Grimstar, who takes over, and um, on on the and takes over the the, Darth, the that Death Star with the three smaller Death Stars rotating around it, like sort of like satellites. And the Illuvia, they they confront some of the the Jedi and manage to slay some of them actually, but not all of them because they're they're well prepared, but some of them are are killed. And, but what happens at the climax of things, Darth Grimstar has been pulling pulling the accords of the Illuvia, trying to guilt them because of their elitist sort of pride. And Beth Stormwarden is sort of captured by Darth Grimstar and taken aboard his Death Star. And Lucas Stormwarden is summoned and he's very angry. Give me back my daughter. But um, he's slain. They're above Coruscant when this takes place and a battle is about to take place between the Empire and the Rebel Alliance because they're getting ready for another fight. And it's another Star Wars battle above, above New Coruscant. And Beth is... Darth plunges a lightsaber through her, through her back in the chest and she's killed. And... Lucas Stormwarden comes to the realization that he's just been a, a, a tool, just a, a tool of Darth Grimstar, and he's realizes he's a fool. But Ray, Ray and um, Poe and Finn manage to board the Death Star. They, they've had a plot which they managed to get on board, and that's the plot things which they do with Star Wars movies, and. Ray battles Darth Grimstar at the end while the, the, the galactic battle is taking place. And um, it's a big tragedy with the death of, death of Beth Stormwarden. And Lucas Stormwarden comes to the realisation that he'd been a fool all along. And that he'd really betrayed the Jedi and betrayed his own people. But Ray slays, slays Darth Grimstar in the final battle as the heroes always win in the end. And that's sort of the ending of it. And then the, there's the burial, probably. Probably a traditional burning of Jedi, like Anakin was burned at the end of Return of the Jedi. So Darth, Darth, was, Darth Vader was burned at the end of the Return of the Jedi. She's probably burned somewhere on New Coruscant. And they, they sort of... Typical sort of endings and things like that. So that's pretty much what goes on with Covenant at Cabaret.